Alrighty, so the next media that we're going to be exploring is charcoal. I've already been using it a little bit, so you can see it gets all over your hands. Do be cautious that that is going to happen to you. Do not wipe your face, do not wipe your clothes. It's gonna take some detergent to come out. All right, so first off, there are two kinds that we're gonna have in this classroom. You're going to have a charcoal pencil like so, and you're also going to have stick charcoal like so. And charcoal is just burnt stuff, so. You have very rudimentary charcoal. Anytime you burn a stick and then you can use the burnt off end to like draw with. Um, all right, so specifically what we're gonna be looking at is blending and reverse drawing. So for blending, it is all things as you might imagine, um, just blending it smooth. So again, ignore my dirty, dirty hand. And just like you would with graphite pencil, you're gonna draw yourself a little box. And just like graphite pencil, this is mostly done with pressure. Now, because of the nature of charcoal, I really don't have to press very hard. You can see how far back on the pencil my fingers are. And that's because I want as little pressure going on as possible. Now, just like before, I do wanna get all the way up to the end and I wanna extend my dark areas so that they're not all just on one end. I want them to come right up through the middle. And then just like in the graphite, I can use a blending stump to blend this. Um, you can tell that you can also just use your fingers. You might not even mean to use your fingers, but you're gonna. <laughs> Just like with graphite pencil, um, I do have to be careful though, this has a little bit of smudge on it. Uh, so I'm gonna use the clean end. Just like with graphite pencil, I'm gonna come in from the side that's lighter and just blend in little circles to the back. I can do the same with this guy. This guy is called vine charcoal. He's extremely soft, which means that he's going to be extremely dark. If you remember from our graphite pencils, the darkest one was the softest one. Um, and this guy is extremely soft as well. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of pressure over here. And I think I'm gonna get the rest of it through blending. So I'm gonna come over here, start smoothing that out and then just drag that out further to get my lighter values. Okay, for reverse drawing, I'm gonna set it up the same way that I did with graphite drawing. I'm going to get a layer of material in this case, the charcoal dust. Uh, but I am gonna do that a little differently than you might be used to, and that is by using a bit of sandpaper. Now this is totally optional. You could just use the uh, graphite, uh, the charcoal just like the graphite, draw it, smudge it, whatever. But here's a fun way to do it that a lot of professional artists do just to get a more varied texture in their background. They take their charcoal pencil or their vine charcoal and they scribble over some sandpaper. And we're just gonna scribble for a little bit and we're gonna build up some dust. Be careful, don't breathe it in. Then I can take this and smack it right down on there. And then I can use my fingers to get a much more varied background. It's got a lot more dimension to it. Um, I might come in and do a little bit more in various spots just so I don't end up with one dark area that's really dark and the rest is all much paler. Um, it's kind of up to you and you can play with it. All right, so I have my reverse drawing here and just like in reverse drawing in graphite, all I'm gonna do is make some different marks. Unlike graphite, charcoal does tend to not entirely erase cleanly. Once it builds up on your eraser, it likes to stick and to stay, and it might not always erase out perfectly, in which case you can clean your eraser by like going to another clean area of paper and erasing off the eraser shavings that are covered in gunk. Um, and then you have a clean eraser again and you can do more erasing. Um, so do a little bit of that, do a little bit of mark making with your charcoal, see how it goes and how it ends up for you, if you can get smooth areas or not all of that fun stuff, and that is all you need to do for this section. As for what charcoal drawings look like, they're black and white just like graphite drawings, but they end up with a much more smudgy or dreamy quality to them. They tend to look more ephemeral, more 
dreamlike. Um, they, they smudge easily and all this other good stuff. Um, so they tend to give this more freeing quality. Uh, don't expect really pretty, perfect details and lines. It's not generally gonna happen without a lot more practice. Um, but it does give this sort of messy on purpose feel. Now, one thing that you do need to do that you don't need to do on graphite is once this is all done, this can still come off on it. This can come off on other things. So you actually spray paint them with clear spray paint to seal everything in so it won't smudge on you again. You can see just by putting my hand down, I picked some of it up. And we don't want our beautiful drawings rubbing away, so we take this outside and we spray it with a coat of clear spray to be completely done.